kind of did latte art. Whoa. Hello everyone, happy Saturday. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Sarah, also Sarah's Faves on Instagram. I look very pale right now in this lighting, but also probably because of what I'm wearing. Billy and I are leaving right now to go to the gym. It is Saturday, it is 9.34 a.m. Billy got a three-day guest pass to Equinox, which is where I go to the gym, so we are gonna go now. Billy is gonna bike and shower and sauna and do everything there. I'm probably going to walk on the treadmill and lift a little bit, so we will see, but we're off to the gym. finished at the gym and we just grabbed coffee from this coffee shop called Spokesman. Also, I think my camera's dirty. Not dirty, not focused. Hello. Hold on. I'm in the car, so this is better. Billy just walked over. We ordered bagels from a little bagel truck called Wham Bam Bagels. So he is picking it up. I got a sesame bagel toasted with sausage, egg, cheese, avocado. He got a sesame bagel, I believe, toasted with sausage and cheese. He doesn't really like egg that much. So, excuse me. That's what he got. He got drip coffee. I got iced latte. And now we're going home. I'm going to drop Billy off and then go on a walk with my friend Caroline. It is... Already 11.35, this day is kind of going by quick, but I haven't really filmed that much at Equinox. I don't like to bring my camera out. I think there's like a rule that you can't have tripods or something. That's what my trainer told me. Who knows if it's real, but I didn't really like film any of my workout. I just did like some legs, some arms, and walked on the treadmill, did some rowing, worked out for probably like an hour or so. But let's go get the bagels and then go home. I'll probably eat while I drive. Get him. Here's the bagel and let's eat. I just picked up my FabFitFun box and I'm so excited to open it. I'm gonna walk with my friend and then open it when we get home, but it is coming, I promise. And I used to do this a couple years ago and stop doing FabFitFun, but they have like so many good products and I honestly forget what I selected, but I'm very excited. All right, I just got home from my walk with my friend. Hello. I went on just like an hour walk with my friend. I'm home and I wanted to go ahead and open my FabFitFun box. So let's do that. It says being poolside brings me so much joy. And this is like the summer box. So I pay annually. It's like $200 or something, but you get full size products and it's amazing. So let's open the box. All right. First thing I got are more liquid IV. So I actually have been really liking Ultima lately that I got at Whole Foods or Sprouts, but this was on there and I was like, why not? Liquid IV is good. Acai berry, great flavor. I actually don't even know if I've tried that, but it sounds good. Second, I got First Aid Beauty Firming Cream. So I think this is just like a thicker moisturizer of some sort. Oh yeah, look at that, like so thick and delicious. It says, apply to face and neck daily in AM and PM, use a loaner over serum. So we love that. And then I'll just recycle and break down the boxes as we go. The next thing I got is Malin and Goats, Gets, Malin and Gets, rum, hand, and body wash. So I was actually thinking of just putting this in our bathroom or just like the kitchen sink and I'm very excited to smell that. Then I got Olaplex Blonde Enhancer Toning Shampoo. I have another purple shampoo, but I've been wanting to try this Olaplex ones um, just to get like blonder for the summer, and I love that, so we'll do that. And then from L-Space Active, which I've heard of L-Space, but not L-Space Active, I got this vibrating massage ball. So like I have really bad Achilles, and this is like perfect for underneath your feet kind of like a tennis ball to roll on the ground and it massages at the same time so this is one of my picks that i'm like very very excited for sorry you can't see my face but and it came with batteries too so we will put those in there and then the last thing i got is the milk makeup 
mascara and I've actually had their mascara before I think before they like rebranded it and really 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 loved it so I'm honestly super excited for this let's see this is what the tube looks like and then I actually really like it okay I feel like I'm gonna really like that so that is what I got in my FabFitFun box. I'm very excited. Just got out of the shower. I am in my Brooklyn yellow robe. In hindsight, I kind of wish I got like a more neutral color because I feel like it just stands out a lot. And we don't have a lot of yellow like in our bathroom or in our room or anything like that. And then I just have on my microfiber towel from like Marshalls, but you can get them on Amazon. And I'm gonna do a quick skincare, just Coco Kind Vitamin C, and then the new First Aid Beauty moisturizer that I got. And then honestly, I think I'm just gonna like sit on the couch and probably read my book. It is almost two o'clock on Saturday. We honestly haven't done that much today. You saw we went to the gym, walked with my friend. I need to make lunch. Like I just am not super hungry yet because we had bagels around like 11. So we will see, but this is the day so far. It feels good to be freshly showered, have absolutely nowhere to go, and just be able to like sit on the couch. The great thing about being in Austin and living in Austin is like it gets hotter obviously throughout the summer. The weather is usually pretty nice, so I don't, sometimes like I feel like when I lived in Boston, if it was like a really nice day in May, I'd feel guilty sitting inside and like doing nothing. But because it's like always nice here, I literally don't care at all. So I'm just gonna park my butt on the couch and read. Let's give Billy a quick feature in the vlog. What are you doing? No. Are you injured? No, just icy. It's a difference. Um, I wanna use the legs though, the recovery. May I sit there? You want to just set up over there? Oh, sure. These leg compression things were probably one of the best things we invested in. Billy used his HSA account and they're amazing for recovery after a workout. They do like the pressure therapy, like compression almost all throughout your legs. So I'm going to sit here for 30 minutes, read my book on my iPad. I am reading, let's see, let me cue it up. I am reading The House Across the Lake by Riley Sager. And I think I'm only like, let's see, it hasn't synced yet. I want to say I'm like 10% through or something. I just started it this morning. And Billy is just watching lacrosse, so we will be here on the couch. I am still on the couch, reading my book. I am reading The House Across the Lake, which is just like a mystery thriller. I'm thinking in this video I actually am going to do like a book review because I've read a few books that I really want to chat through. So once I'm off the couch, we'll do that. But right now I'm just relaxing. Billy just went to Sprouts because, sorry if you can hear the TV, but I am too lazy to go turn it off the volume. Billy went to Sprouts. We have some stuff to make like sandwiches. We have yummy honey mustard, but turkey, cheese, microgreens, tomato, but we don't have any bread. I have wraps, but they're like not big enough for like the sandwich I want, if that makes sense. So he's gonna go grab some rolls. He knows I always am like, look at the ingredients, see what they have in them. So usually we got like the fresh baked rolls at Sprouts and he's gonna get that and then I will be like, can you make me a sandwich? So. I'll still chill on the couch. I'm having a liquid IV. I just did the Normatec, like, well, it's like hyper ice, but Normatec compression legs, which feel really good. It's like, basically, think about getting, like, your blood pressure taken at the doctor, which I honestly don't really like, even though I don't mind the doctor. But it's like that feeling on your legs in like different sections and it's really good for circulation and recovery. Like I wear the Whoop for those of you, if you have a Whoop, it's similar to like the Aura Ring kind of for like tracking your sleep and you got like a recovery score. So every day since I've been doing those like Norma Tech compression and drinking tart cherry juice, which has melatonin and tryptophan in it. So melatonin is good for sleep. Tryptophan releases serotonin. It's like the same, I believe the same that is in like turkey, like that you have on Thanksgiving. So it makes you sleepy. I've been having an eight ounce glass of tart cherry juice that I get at Trader Joe's. It's like $4 and then doing the recovery legs and 
Okay, it's not gonna load, but if you saw the green, my recoveries have been green, which is like really high, so 91%, 95, 94, 94, 77, 88, 88. And like another one before that for the past like eight days. It could be a placebo, but I honestly haven't had that many green recoveries in a row in like so long, probably since February when I went to Europe. So that feels really good. I feel real rested, I feel good. And so that is the little recipe, I guess. Compression therapy and tart cherry juice. But I'm sitting on the couch. I'm honestly might stop reading. I'm like only 14% through my book, but I'm not into it enough where I wanna like really sit and read. And Brooke Michio, one of my favorite YouTubers, just posted a new video, so I think I'm gonna turn it on since we don't need to watch golf anymore since Billy is running a quick errand. So let's turn that on and then I will film when we're making our sandwiches because Billy is literally sandwich master. All right, give us a grocery haul. Rolls, turkey, two grass-fed burgers. Where are the ice cream sandwiches? Oh, I forgot those. Oh my goodness. Oops. Idiot. Stupid. <laughs> Billy just got home from the store, so we're doing sandwiches, like I said. We have bacon, our rolls, turkey, some more turkey, cheddar cheese, onions, broccoli that we put in the food processor, cheese for my sandwich, microgreens, primal kitchen mayo, avocado, and tomato. So Billy's gonna make us some yummy sandwiches and I'm gonna read on the couch. Hi, Bogey. You good boy. Here is the sandwich. So bread, tomato, avocado, red onion, turkey, cheese, bacon, microgreens, and I am going to dive right in. Hobie, sorry, but you can't have any. And crumbled broccoli. Oh, and crumbled broccoli added veggies. Oh yeah, I see that at the bottom with the mayo. Mm -hmm. It looks so good, thank you. So much for my vlog today. I literally just woke from woke up from a nap. Couch naps are superior. It was 6.15. I just woke up from a nap on the couch, which is why I literally have like pillow marking on my face that Billy told me I had. But I was reading on the couch for a little and I only got like six hours of sleep last night because I babysat last night. And then when I got home, it ended up being like midnight. So by the time I fell asleep, it was like 12.30. So I was pretty tired. So I was excited to nap. When I laid on the couch, I was just like, okay, this is gonna be like a nap moment. So I napped for about like an hour, 15 minutes. And Billy and I are just trying to figure out our plan for tonight. We had those sandwiches around like four o'clock. So I'm like not hungry yet, but I feel like we'll probably be hungry around like 7.30 or so in like an hour maybe. And we are going to go to the Armadillo Den, which is our favorite like outdoor bar south of where we live with a couple friends and just like hang out. They have a lot of like really good non-alcoholic options. So I really like to go there and maybe Billy and I will go there early and I'll bring like my Kindle or something to keep reading because I'm now 27% done with my book. So I read a little bit today. But I am gonna get a hold the cone from Trader Joe's for a little dessert snack to tie me over. Billy already has his hand prepared and ready for me to give him one. So let's see. Yours are already open though, mine aren't. Correct. How many do you want? No. Just one? So we got the chocolate ones because those are Billy's favorite. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. And then I just got the vanilla ones normally, but this time I got the chocolate chip. And the employee at Trader Joe's, because they're all amazing, told me that the chocolate chip were really good. So I'm excited to try these ones. They're like chocolate cones. 
with chocolate chip with vanilla. No. But look at the cone. Yeah, those are cool. They're chocolate. I just put yours away, but yeah, I'll get you another. All right, I decided to come into my office to do my little like book review section of this video because our apartment faces like at this time of day, it faces south, south, south. So sorry, that took me a while. Let me check my compass just to make sure. Southwest. Southwest. So it gets good light at this time of night, which is 6.30. I am just gonna crack open this Culture Pop Lemon Lime, which isn't my favorite flavor, but I had them left over from an event that I worked for for them since I am an ambassador for them. So I do like event work in the field with them. So I did an event with them at Whole Foods in March and still had a case left just cause I honestly forgot I had it. Okay book reviews so a couple of books that i've recently read i'm going to use my kindle instead of my ipad just because i feel like it's easier to navigate the kindle can sometimes be slow so let's pull up did my kindle die okay it's dead because i fell asleep reading it so i'll just do my phone <laughs> same just same just okay so i'm trying to think of the book that i read before the Man Called Ove. I think it was The Paris Apartment. And I rated it. Let's check my Goodreads. Oh no. Oh my gosh. I've read two books since then. So I read The Vanishing Half, which I gave five stars. It was an incredible, incredible book. So the summary or like the synopsis is about these twin sisters. They grew up together in a small southern black community, ran away at the age 16, but one fully tries to identify as being white and the other identifies as being black. And it's all about their separate lives and how they come together and like how different their lives it are. But it is a really, really good book. I rated that five stars, so I would highly recommend. Then I read The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, which there was a ton of hype about, and I was honestly shocked I hadn't read it yet, but I thought it was really good. It's about this woman who's an actress, and she had seven husbands, so it's about each husband, but it's about also this journalist who is writing her like memoir biography for her, and so she like confesses and a lot of these things. I thought it was really good. I rated it four stars on Goodreads, but I wanted to do four and a half on Goodreads. You can't do four and a half, but I thought it was really good. There was just like one thing that I kind of wished was different. Like there was like somewhat of a twist and I thought it was going to be different. So not that I wanted my prediction to be like correct, but I thought it would have been a better story if it went that way at the end. And then the last most recent book, Second to most recent book I read was A Man Called Ove. I rated this four and a half stars as well. And it says, at first sight, Ove is almost certainly the grumpiest man you'll ever meet. A curmudgeon with staunch principles, strict routines, and a short fuse. People think him bitter, and he thinks himself surrounded by idiots. Ove's well-ordered solidarity world gets solitary world gets a shake up one November morning when the appearance of new neighbors, a chatty young couple, and their two boisterous daughters who announced their arrival by accidentally flattening Ove's mailbox with their U-Haul. What follows is a heartwarming tale of unkept cats, unlikely friendships, and a community's unexpected reassessment of the one person they thought they had all figured out. I'd actually been meaning to read this for quite some time, but I think I started to read it and got like 20 pages into it before, wasn't like that into it and just put it down. Then it came out on Netflix. Like we, like the US Americans adapted or like adopted the story for a Netflix film. It had already come out in Sweden because that is where the author's from. That's where the book is based. So we adapted it into like an Americanized version of that on Netflix by, or called A Man Called Otto. So the original is A Man Called Ove and the Netflix is A Man Called Otto. And I saw that the movie came out and I was like, wait, that's based off a book. The movie's with Tom Hanks 
and I was like, I really, really want to read this book before I watch the movie. So I read the book in like a little bit, a few days, and then Billy and I just watched the movie. It got pretty good reviews, I think like 69% on Rotten Tomatoes. I honestly thought it was better than that. It's just like a feel good, you know, like he's grumpy and then it turns around. So I really enjoyed it. And then the last book I just read before the current run I'm reading is I Forgot to Die by Khalil Rafati. He is the founder of Sun Life Organics, which if you live in Austin or California or any of those areas, or if you know of Sun Life, it's like a smoothie, acai bowl. They do like some toast and coffee, but basically like super food blends. So like they have bee pollen, goji berries, like cacao nibs, all different super foods there that they mix into their smoothies. It's fairly expensive because of that but I read the autobiography of the founder, Khalil, and for most of his life, he had been struggling with addiction, with like cocaine, heroin, alcoholism, everything like that, and then turned it around when he was 35 and is now like a millionaire with this amazing, amazing restaurant slash like store. So that was really good. I rated that five stars. And now I am reading The House Across the Lake by Riley, let's see, Riley Sager. And it's pretty good so far. I'm like 25% in, but I'm excited to keep reading it. And I will update you all in my next video with like a little reading update of what I thought. And I'll probably be on another book by then. The next book I think I want to read was my book of the month, The Collected Regrets of Clover. So I got this in my book of a month. My camera battery is about to die. Let me change it. One second. Okay, so the next one I'm going to read after The House Across the Lake is The Collected Regrets of Clover, like I said. And I got it in the book of the month. I There were a lot of really good options, like The Last House. No, The Last... Oh, The Last Word. That's like a thriller that I've seen people reading now. That was an option that I was going to pick, but I was like, I read so many thrillers. I'd rather have like a different genre of book for my book of the month that I don't typically have. So this one says, what's the point of giving someone a beautiful death if you can't give yourself a beautiful life? From the day she watched her kindergarten teacher drop dead during a dramatic telling of Peter Rabbit, Clover Brooks has felt a stronger connection with the dying than she has with the living. After the beloved grandfather who raised her dies alone while she's traveling, Clover becomes a death doula in New York City dedicating her life to ushering people peacefully through the end of life process. Clover spends so much time with the dying that she has no life of her own until the final wishes of a feisty old woman send Clover on a road trip across the country to uncover a forgotten love story and perhaps her own happy ending. As she finds herself struggling to navigate the uncharted waters of romance and friendship, Clover is forced to examine what she really wants and whether she'll have the courage to go after it. And that's just so different, like that plot and like probably the character development, what she does as a career is so different than anything I've ever read about or even learned about. So I'm really excited to read this. Because I'm reading a thriller right now, I'm already like a quarter of the way in. I feel like I'll probably get to halfway tonight and finish it tomorrow. I read thrillers like pretty quickly. So I'm excited to start that one. But that is like a little book update, book haul. And if you're not already friends with me on Goodreads, I'll put my Goodreads link down below. It should be in every video, but I'll check to make sure that it is. And now Billy and I are gonna go chat and see what we wanna do for the rest of the night. I think, like I said, we're probably gonna go to the Armadillo Den, hang out with some friends there, and just like enjoy the weather because I think it's pretty nice out. All right, I'm getting ready because we're leaving in like 15 minutes, but this is the mascara that I got my Fab Fit Fun, so let's try it. And here's my outfit. I'm just wearing a Ana Luisa earrings and necklace, which I have a code for. I'll link below. Reformation bodysuit, only thing I own, Reformation, and then Abercrombie like dad jean shorts that I love and can link below. This is not how I'm wearing my hair, but let's put mascara on. Okay, I feel like it's fun to do it like this. Why does my hair look greasy even though I showered? It's so annoying. Okay, I like it so far, so I'm gonna move to the mirror. <laughs> Here's the mascara, if you can see. I feel like it looks really good. I like the Say mascara better. I also have that. Milk mascara I used to love, so maybe it's just like the first try, but I like the Say mascara better for now. I don't know what I'm doing with my hair. Probably honestly just keep it how it was, but just make it look a little better. But here's the fit. Let's go.
We just got home from the armadillo den where we went with some friends. Billy's already in bed behind me and I am drinking my tart cherry juice that is amazing for sleep because it has melatonin and tryptophan in it. So I'm drinking that now, then I'll brush my teeth, then I'm gonna get in bed and read. Billy is watching like probably sports or something, not really sure. But thanks for spending the day with me. I know we didn't do much, but I hope you enjoyed. Enjoyed the book reviews. Definitely highly recommend all of those, and I will link them below as well. But thanks for watching. Subscribe if you're not already, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.